I'm going to show you connecting a turtle robot and driving it around using ROS, uh, using RViz and doing a bit of G mapping, SLAM mapping. So the first thing is we have a the turtle robot and I've just switched it on so that's booted up and I should be able to see the SSID here in the list and here, here it is turtlebot1. So the first thing we do is connect to that turtlebot and uh, after a, a few moments it'll set up and then the next thing is to open up a terminal and we're now connected to the turtle bot so I need to uh, start some software within the turtle bot so I need to log on to the computer on the turtle bot now to do that I can SSH into it and the name of the computer is Odroid and the IP address, which is set by the router, is the one that I'm typing in now, which is something that we set up during the setting up of this turtle robot. So just SSH into it, and then it'll ask me for the password. Okay, so now we are into the computer of the turtle robot so we can have a look around at the files there for example there's a few different files now to um, start the robot we need to bring up the, um, the, the robot control which is this one so it's ross launch turtle bot bring up minimal with hokuyo launch so the hoku is the the laser scanner Okay, so I'll just turn like that and turn the camera around so you can see the robot. Okay, so you probably heard the robot and there's a load of um, things that have come up on the terminal screen which say that, yeah, things are all working okay. So we can put that terminal to one side for now. We don't need it for this anymore. And what we're going to do is open up a new terminal. Okay, now the next thing I need to do is to send twist messages to the robot to make it move around. Now earlier on I downloaded a, um, uh, a uh, program which can send these twist messages. And if I can type this right, I think it is teleop twist keyboard. If I spell it wrong, I can always have a look by pressing the up. No, I've spelt it wrong. Okay, so I'm just going to use the up arrow keys to just remind me of when I did spell it correctly. Oh, it's teleop twist keyboard. Okay. So it's that one. And then the screen will open up like this with some keys moving around. So little i makes it move forwards, comma makes it move backwards, j and l make it move left and right. You can also decrease uh, the maximum speed by pressing the z key. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is press z several times just to get it slower. There's a reason for that really, because when we're going to do slam mapping, it's a bit more accurate if it moves slowly. Okay, so let's try moving the robot around. So if I press the I to make it go forwards, there we go, and we're off. Can turn around. You can turn around in arcs as well. And reverse in an arc. essentially do a bit of a three-point turn. Okay, so you can drive that around a little bit, but the next thing would be to have a look at what the laser scanner can see. So in order to do that, I'll open up another terminal. There's several ways of opening up another terminal. I can either use the terminal emulator uh, from the keyboard. I can use the keys, Control, Alt and T, or I could just open up a uh, terminal here or another tab. 
what I'll do is I'll open up a tab. And what I'll do is then type rviz, rviz, and that should bring up the visualization. So there we go, that's the, the visualization of the, the thing. You know, nothing to see at the moment. So what I'm going to do now is to add in the robot model. So I go to add. robot model and you might just be able to see it in the middle there there's our robot model now what I want to do so as I drive around I'll be able to see the robot moving around just just be I mean you're welcome to do that but let's just before we do that let's have a look at the laser scan I'm going to add laser scan and the topic needs to be set and the topic is is actually scan forward slash scan like that so now what we've got let's make this a bit bigger is our viz and the visualization of the robot now I'm going to drive the robot around, but to make it drive around, you need to highlight the terminal that has the um, the commands in that make the, the robot move around. So you have to type the keys within the terminal that's open with the, the, the keys in which make the robot move. So I've just opened up that terminal. You can still see our viz. So as I move this around, you can see the robot is moving through this world. And as I rotate it around, you can see that the laser scanner is shining. So it's got about a 180 degree range. As the robot turns, you can see more information from the laser scanner. Okay. So what you can also do with the robot is you might notice that the global options fixed frame is odometry so that fixes the the, the frame of, of what we see uh, on the screen to the the odometry the motion of the robot i could fix that to base link and just see how that changes so now the robot stays in the center of the screen and as it moves around it's as if the world is moving around it now there's a an interesting reason between changing base link and odometry which I'll show you in uh, in a short while. For now I'm just going to change it back to odom, odometry. Because what we're going to do now is do some mapping. So to do some mapping, I'm going to open up another terminal. For me, I'm just going to open up a tab and I can use ross run g mapping slam g mapping like that so now as i drive the robot around let me just undock this terminal and drive the robot around you can see that it says registering first scan as i move the robot you should see some, um, as I rotate it more, I think, some more information. There we go. So it tells you that it's taking laser scan measurements and it's doing something interesting with it. So let's see what it's doing with it. So I'm going to go back to Arvis and add in map. Like so. Look at the items of the map. And change. make sure that the topic points to map as well. There we go. Okay, so here we go. Something very exciting is starting to happen. The robot has remembered where it was. And it's creating the map. 
So as I drive the robot around, it's remembering what the laser scans were showing and the light grey area is areas where the robot can go. If it's dark grey or it's kind of a dark green here, um, then it means it's an area that the robot's either not scanned or it's not been to. What's also interesting is you can see how it's matching up the laser scans with its map. It's slightly offset, so what it will try and do is, is recorrect uh, re those walls, but it's created those walls just from taking multiple scans and saying that that's the region. There we go. So you can see that the region is becoming a bit more confident. So the very bl the black areas are walls. They're no-go areas. And then the light grey is where the robot will go to. Now just as a, as a point that I noticed, if you have the robot in base link mode, okay, it doesn't seem to work. So the robot has to be in odometry mode for the map system to work. So now it's just a case of driving the robot around. At the moment it's a bit of an unknown environment. So what I'm going to do is just finish off by driving the robot into a bit of this unknown spot and it's a bit like wandering around in a dark room with only a small torch to see where you're going so you don't know where the walls are but as you get closer to it you can figure it out and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to rotate around a little bit and it can it's looking around as you can see so let's just go through we're going to exit the room and what I'll do is I'll move the camera so you can see the robot there sorry about that camera moving so I'll, the camera the robot will come into the screen of the camera in a moment Okay, so I'm going to drive the robot around and turn the robot to go down the corridor, the unknown space to the robot. But as it moves around, particularly when it rotates, you'll see that the, the area turns from an unknown area into, an, into a known area particularly when I rotate so I'm just going to rotate around here and it's looking around and building up a map now down here there is actually a door and let's see how the door looks to the robot there we go so there's a corner of the room here and as I rotate around it's looking through the door to the room beyond and what I'm going to do rather than going in that room I'm going to get back onto the camera and I'm going to go down the corridor so there is actually a corridor here now I don't really need to see the robot itself to drive it in this area I can actually just use the map so it's great for teleoperation. So now we're going down the corridor. There is an open door on the right hand side. But I'm not going to go there. I'm going to aim to go down the corridor to where the front door is. I'm going to follow the laser scans. So I found the open door on the right hand side. So as it's going, it's building up this map. What we're going to do in the next section is to save this map. So to save this map, we use the map saver command. So if I bring it back to the terminal, oh, 
open a terminal and then I type in rostron and it's map server space map saver so that will save the map uh, it tells you the name of the map map.pgm and map.yaml uh, if I list that you can see the the um, the image there if we wanted to have a look at what that image looks like uh, you just use an image browser so I used um, this one EOG and you can have a look at map.pgm and there it is in the center of the screen I'm just going to zoom in on that and that is the map so this is where it started and this is the corridor that it's gone down and these are the open doorways that we didn't explore so it, it saved that map now as the two files so what we're going to do in the next section is to use this and uh, to have the robot navigating so we'll use the um, the slam methods so slam is simultaneously localized and um, mapping the environment and we'll use it to move the command move base to for the robot to get around to places.